Snoop. Little Snoop, you know what I'm saying? I, you know, mixtape finna drop more sturdy boy in, I see. You know what I'm saying? Dream Chasers in here. You know, I already know what it is, niggas to take over. Little Snoop, whoa! That's your boy Brandon, B. White, hip hop since 1987 in the studio with Lil Snoop, Dream Chasers Records. Alright, so um, first thing we want to say is congrats because we actually caught you on camera a couple months ago. You know, you had a battle, it was a real epic night. Yeah. World star, every blog put it up. You had a nice little battle, so um, we wanted to know, like, how did you spend that prize money? A lot of people wanted to know. Like, I still got it. Okay. But I got more of it. You know okay. Like, I got okay. more than 10 racks now. Like. <laughs> now, I know we talked to a lot of rappers. We've seen the video, a lot of up and coming rappers. They want to know, like, yo, is he, he going to be a battle rapper now? Like, are you open doing other battle raps for, for prize money and things like that? I'm going to be honest. Like, I ain't even a battle rapper. It was just like, I know how to rap. And, like, it was like, nigga, like, hey, dude, I'm battling this, this, you know what I'm saying? 10 band. I was like, yeah, I battle anybody. Okay, okay. Like, I ain't a battle rapper, but say somebody run up, like you catch me at some a spot or something, you pull out like 20 bands, like, come on, what's up, I'm ready right now, oh yeah, we gonna get it on. Okay, okay. Now, how would you, like, define your style? Because I think um, a lot of us up there, up north in Philly, we all look at, like, man, that's that, that old cash money before the movies, was like YMCMB type yeah. of sound, like, that BG type of sound, so like, how would you define your sound? I just say, the struggle, like, you know what I'm saying, we just... <coughs> <laughs> rap where we come from, the songs like Louisiana is like the boondocks, you know what I'm saying? You don't know nobody make it out of there, so everybody who make it, you can hear it from them, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. We just got our own style of rap. Cool, cool. Man, like you signed the Dream Chasers records. Like, how was that? How was that change of life? Man, that's good, man. Right? I tell you, like, it was like you go just chilling in the hood, riding in a family. So you like, and you never rode in a family in your life. So now it's like your first time. So you really fucked up. You know what I'm saying? Like you like, whoa. Then you in Miami. You ain't never been to Miami. Like you like, like man. You know what I'm saying? Like damn, I used to listen to this nigga meet on the video. Now he like, yeah, hey, go get Snoop some chips. Like that shit, wow. Like, what the mm -hmm. fuck? like that shit crazy. Now how was like <clears throat> working with the rest of the camp? Like working with me, working with Louis Lee, the whole crew, the Dream Chasers crew. How was that? Like help shape and form your music. Um, it's like, it helped, it helped a lot, cause like I say, I'm from Louisiana, you know what I'm saying, like everybody's been the struggle, so kind of everybody, you can kind of hear like low key, like the same kind of thing, like kind of, but everybody got different story. like a verse, like a whole different style, so it's like, I can, you know what I'm saying, tune in with their style and my style and like bring it to a, just a whole worldwide thing. Cool, cool. Now, we here because you have a mixtape drop, like you can tell us the mixtape title, when it's dropping. Oh yeah, and I see. It stands for um, Real Nigga in Charge. It dropped March 30th. And um, that pill, trying to get it on. I mix. We trying everywhere. You know yeah, it's, gonna be, it's gonna be everywhere. Hit the streets. <laughs> everywhere. We hit the streets. We really like old Master P shit. You might see me in the hood on, with a Cadillac with the trunk pop. Are you selling your own mixtapes? Yeah, with 2,000 okay, mixtapes right, in right. the back. I don't do that too much on, no more. But um, like, what features, what production can we expect on a project now? As of right now, I can say. Um, Louis, Louis V, Dream Chasers. Um, okay, okay. We got Meek, um, Yo Gotti, um, Big Papa, Louisiana. Um, we got Money Bag, shout out Badass NT, Free Booster too. Um, oh, we got Spitter. Yeah, okay, Jet okay. Life. Yeah, okay, currency. okay, okay. Yeah. So you cool with currency? Like, how you get that? Well, oh yeah, Trader True. Okay. Yeah. Well. DJ Khaled. Wow. Yeah, Khaled. Wow. Yeah. You got some big cosigns on there, man. Yeah. Uh -uh. I met Spitter because, like, his right hand man, that's my homeboy, uncle. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? So I been knew his his uncle. And he right hand man was Spitter, so he telling me, like, hey, we've we been telling me for years, like, but his uncle was in the feds. So he was so happy to get out. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Like, 2011 or something. So he heard me rap, whatever. He like, too nice. But I ain't never, I just met, met Spitter, like, Last month or something though, like, you know what I'm saying? So I finally like, kind of, you know what I'm saying? Got a name and got on and it was like, hey, I'm coming to New Orleans. And that's so happened tonight, like Spitter was having a party. Mm -hmm. And I called him and he was like, shoot through, you know what I'm saying? And when I shot through, it was just number love. Like Spitter was, you know what I'm saying? He was running to me like, oh. when I got there, Spitter knew me. Like, yeah, you the boy. So now that you're a new face on the game, you talk about currency, like, 
rappers? All the other like big name rappers you probably looked up to, you listen to in your iPod and stuff like that. Are they all embracing you with open arms now or? Yeah, like it's crazy like Everybody who I listen up to and I met, they like keep doing your motherfucking thing. Like nigga, we we salute. Like I ain't ran to one yet who gonna be like, like you know what I'm saying? But I like, yeah, 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 everybody I done met, they like I like to see a young nigga come you know saying coming from the bottom trying to do it. Now is this is this your first mixtape? I think I see you on Twitter and Instagram. You always promoting like something something sixteen and running or something yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's um, it dropped at uh, 12, 12, 12. Okay, okay, yeah, okay. It's five days on that pill right now. So that was your first mixtape. Yeah. So this is about to be your second. Okay, yeah. Okay, okay. Now how did the whole you and Meek relationship work out? Because I remember Meek saying a while ago like, oh. Got this kid from New Orleans, like Louisiana, like it was crazy. Like you hear him spit his, he gonna, he gonna make everybody a fan in the room. So like, how did that all work out? How did y'all link up? Me um, had it's like um homecoming. With, it's just like this college, you're in the state. Like it's not, okay. it's not far from John, but when it's like. 15 minutes, 20 minutes or something. So I be going up there all the time, you know what I'm saying? Fucking bitches just chilling, rapping, you know what I'm saying? So we up there chilling. So like homecoming came around, we had seen it was um, Melody Fiona or something, and it was me. So boom. I'm like, I'm thinking, damn, crazy. I listen to this nigga, me. I just give him my mixtape. You know what I'm saying? Woo -woo. But at the same time, you thinking like that shit impossible because you got a hundred niggas saying the same shit. I'm mm -hmm. saying. But this, this lady I knew, she a police for girl, I mean, like a little, not a, a security, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So she like, yeah, I called her, I'm like, what's up, you can get me backstage? She like, yeah, I can get you backstage. So, you know, I go home, chill, woo -woo, get dressed, go back to the show. So she get me in the show free. So she like, me going there, yeah, so she like, you know what I'm saying, just go, just stand right here in the crowd, but stand by the door, so when I come out, I can just tell you, come on. I'm like, all right. I got my, I got, and it's crazy because my cousin C now, he like, he gave me two mixtapes. I don't know why. And I told him, I said, man, just give me one. Mm -hmm. He like, nah, I'll take two just in case. I'm like, man, I just need one, man. He like, nah, I'll just take two. So I take two. So we, she come back out. When me come, she come out. She like, it's so packed. I can't even get you back there. Like, straight up. She like, I'm like, damn, it's crazy as a motherfucker. So she like, just give me one and give me your mixtape. And I'll just take it back there and see if I can get it to him. I give her my mix. So, like the show Meek Rocket, the show over and shit. So I go outside, like boom. It's crazy, like I see Meek Van right there and ain't nobody in. Like boom. So I'm knowing, like, he's still in there, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So he come out, you know what I'm saying? He get in the van. Yeah, they get in the van, they finna go. I knock on the door, I knock on the window, you know what I'm saying? They look over and I hold my mixtape up, like, you know what I'm saying? They drive it down the window, they grab it. And I walked off. You know what I'm saying? Walked off. Mm -hmm. Nothing, same normal. Then I went back. I seen the lady. The lady told me straight up. It was so packed. I couldn't even get your mixtape back. She was like, I couldn't even, you know what I'm saying? I couldn't even get back. I'm like, all right, that's a bit. So boom, we go to the little party and shit. We, we outside chilling before we go in and shit outside the party. So my homeboy them telling me like, I right, might that nigga threw your shit out the window, man. Ain't nobody listen to that. It's like, it's like, you know what I'm saying? Niggas like, yeah, he like, man, we, your yeah, shit fine, but I don't know about this nigga just, just, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm saying? Then yeah, it's like, it's unknown for, Cause be real, like down south, we don't really listen to nobody else. Like Meek, really the only nigga from really like up this way. Niggas really just on. You know what I mean? mm -hmm. So it's like, man, how a nigga from the East Coast gonna pick up nigga? Nah, that shit I ain't even heard. Like hell, I ain't finna throw that shit out the window. So boom, I ain't even. It's crazy. I ain't even have a phone. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So my homeboy called my other homeboy. I'm like, hell, man, y'all niggas some motherfuckers. You see what I'm saying? When everybody was at the show, so everybody know what I did. Like, and I'm thinking, like, like man, these niggas playing these games, because he talking about he gonna throw it out the window, and he talking about, man, this nigga just shot at you out, man. So I'm like, man, these niggas with these games. So this nigga, like, ah, Snoop. Real, nigga, like, so I'm hearing it in his voice, like, this nigga probably ain't playing. I'm like, yeah, all right, let me hit you right back. Boom. So I go on Twitter. Meek ain't say shit about me. Boom. Nigga, I just click up, you know, I just saying shit he said, like, before he came to Grammy, you gotta hit refresh. Nigga, I hit down, hit refresh. Nigga, that shit swirling. That your name popped up, nigga. I'm like, nigga, the biggest side of Kool Aid smile. I'm talking about, I'm like, oh, shit. 
Then I'm like, I'm looking at that one. Then like 10 minutes later, this nigga tweet around for my song. I'm like, oh, hell no. <laughs> so I'm like, damn, then my other cousin called me. He like, man, nigga, nigga, just called me, man. I'm like, man. I don't know what to believe, cause I don't know if y'all playing, but I don't I know y'all might not be playing cause it's tweet for real. Mm -hmm. I'm like, shit, what's going on? Man, this nigga really like called lean back and was like, ooh, I'm like, damn nigga. But that's still, I'ma be honest. I really didn't even look at that like me was gonna sign. I ain't even want like I didn't even want that. I was just like, this nigga the hottest one of the hottest niggas in the game right now. If he know about Lil Snoop and I grind, if he ever hear my name again, he gonna be like, Yeah, I know that. I done heard that nigga. He fucked, you know what I'm saying? I be damn like, you know, me and Lean stayed in contact, you know what I'm saying? Meek, we, we been like, after I talked to Lean that night, like two weeks later, Meek Instagram like a line for my song. Like two weeks later, I'm like, damn, this nigga still fucking listening. Like, mm -hmm. like this shit, wow. You know what I'm saying? So, fuck around, nigga, my nigga Q, you know what I'm saying? Q, he from Harrisburg, so boom. Like shit, you know, come up here for Christmas, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Chill. Mm -hmm. I hit leg, boom, I'm coming up that way. Boom. I ain't gonna fuck with you. I just come, boom, roll the greyhound, I'm out here. Shit, we coming. So fuck around, me, me. This is my first time even just getting in the booth, meet him. Yeah, back hurting like a motherfucker here. Yeah. I'm talking about, how many hours was it? 36. Yeah, damn, I mean, me, we get damn. This is my first time ever in a building. Mm -hmm. This thing about the first time in a building. Nick Mill just put on the instrumental. Damn, he like Rick that bitch. We riding through Philly. In a building, he like Rick that bitch. We going like 10, 15 minutes strong. He like, oh, yes, yeah, no, I'm finna change your motherfucking life. <laughs> <laughs> so, shit, I'm like, yeah, ooh, ooh, ooh. So we hit the studio, I do my, it's the first night I met Louis V and shit. I do my damn freestyle. Them niggas like, damn, Snoop, do that shit. Like, you different, man. That was that, you different. Nigga. Dark one. <laughs> so, nigga, dark one. <laughs> like, fucking, day after that, they ain't call me, meet on the phone. Nigga, want to battle you 10 bands. What you want to do, Snoop? What I want to do? <laughs> I said, I'll battle. I'll battle. That nigga Meek. He said, said, what you'll do for 10 bands? I said, nigga, I'll battle Meek for 10 bands. Right? <laughs> like, I'll battle anybody. 10 bands? Because it was like, nigga, I'm going to be honest. I ain't never had 10 bands. I ain't never held that shit in my hand. I done seen it. I done seen more than that. But my, my shit? Oh, yeah. I got to get this. Let Meek say he wants to battle. Shit, I'm here. What's up? What's up? <laughs> nigga, it's worth a fucking try. This nigga, so they put the nigga on the phone, boy, it's crazy. The nigga was garbage. Like, he rap, whoop, whoop. He like, they like, yeah, he official. Like, this nigga not official. But what's crazy, fuck them up. I know I fucked them up. I didn't even wreck it on the phone. I just said some bullshit. Like, he was rapping, and he was so fucking whack. I was like, yeah, off the dome, killing with the chrome, come, something, one, one. So I know he like, yeah, I'm finna win. Man, I showed up, and it is what it is. Mm. <laughs> so all of that was planned already. I already knew y'all was gonna battle. Mm -hmm. um, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, that was that was pretty epic. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like thirty minutes before the, you know what I'm saying? Like okay. thirty. Like ain't no prepare. Like it's straight. Boom! It's like you finna go to a game. Five minutes from now, the nigga be like, "Ooh, you wanna come get a battle right now?" So you gotta go right then. Like ain't no get prepared, get your shit together. It's like, and I freestyle anyway. But I thought he was gonna, you know what I'm saying? I thought he was at least gonna come because I'm thinking. I used to watch, I don't even lie, I used to watch Meat Battle. Mm -hmm. Nigga, I used to watch Reed Dollar Battle. Nigga, I watched Cat, I watched all them niggas murder Moot. Mm -hmm. So I'm thinking I'm finna battle with Philly, nigga. It's finna be some mm -hmm. shit. Yeah. Like, oh shit. Like, cause that's what they known for. Like, coming with that shit that make everybody just every line. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's what I, I, I know Philly for. Like, I done watched all them niggas battle, mm -hmm. and them niggas just. So I'm thinking, like, damn, I might have to come with it, you know what I'm saying? But, yeah, it is what it is, all right, you know what I'm saying? So, like, so what happened? How, how was you feeling, like, a couple of days or, like, a week after when you seen that, like, video, World Star, on, that, like, every website? I mean, I'm pretty sure you got a lot of Twitter followers, Instagram followers right after. Like, how was that feeling, like? People don't even know. I cried in my hotel. Oh, wow. Man, I'm talking about, I was like, this shit, for real. Like, I got on work, because I swear, man, like, before that, 
Me and my cousin them was talking about paying 700 to get a world star video. <laughs> I swear to God, like me and my cousin was like, yeah, we finna drop five track, 16 and running just drop. I was like, yeah, we finna do some shit. Gonna get this shit a world star, nigga. Nigga heard me, nigga, it's gonna die. Man, fucked around on World Star for free. What? And I'm killing? Oh, man, I'm like, damn, this shit, this shit ain't game, like, for real. Then, when that bitch hit half a million, I say, oh, my God. Oh, shit. Like, like it's that many people done seen me? Like, like damn, man, this shit, wow. Then that Cosmic Kev shit went World Star. Damn, this shit, wow. Then people don't even know, like, after we did that shit, we did hit World yeah. Star. Me and Meek did hit World Star. <laughs> then I'm in Louisiana. Nigga, Meek, me, um, in Cabo. That one, y'all in Cabo. Yeah. Nigga, this was like a month after the fucking Cosmic Kill shit. They rewinded the shit on World Star. Like, <laughs> it said the rewind clip of the week. <laughs> Oh, like, oh, that bitch got a half a million again. I said, oh, shit. Like, oh, and Meek kind of called Meek. Who I told him, you seeing that? Meek, like, you and World Star again? So Meek look at it, and like, nigga, I ain't never seen nobody rewind clip. Like, it was a rewind clip. Like, I ain't never. So shit, he like, that's so shit. I'm like, damn. So World Star just took it to another level, for real. So what you gonna do now, now that, now that you got your, your, your mixtape coming out at the end of the month, like? And you got any videos, any singles to lead off, kick it off? Yeah, I got one. Um, I'm finna drop some videos. I got some shit coming. You know what I'm saying? I got some shit. Like, people not even expecting people. Like, yeah, you just a freestyle. Well, I heard people say that on Twitter. And I heard some people, I seen some people on Twitter. And I heard some people in the streets. Like, back home, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, my nigga tip. Like, you know what I'm saying? We, we, nigga talking about you just rap freestyle. We, we. Then people just tell other people from up here, like, People thinking you just a freestyler, like, mm -hmm. I got real life songs finna drop on these niggas. Like, niggas better be ready for this shit, man. This ain't no motherfucking kind. So you gonna leak anything before the mixtape drop at the end of the month? Yeah. Okay. I'm trying to do some, I might do some shit tomorrow. Like, probably Monday, tomorrow or something, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm just, I'm, I'm out here trying to get it right now. Like, it's just, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm trying to get it, and then now, like, I, I got a team, so I gotta make mm -hmm. sure that you know what I'm saying? My team, if they like, if I'm getting it and they ain't get it, then I gotta like go back get them, and they gotta get it, so we all mm -hmm. get it. You know what I'm saying? But we all carrying our weight right now, so DC finna be some shit, niggas ain't. You know what I'm saying? Is there anything else you wanna say to the camera? Oh yeah, I see. March 30th, worth the wait. Louis V coming soon. D Amazing coming soon. Jordan, I wanna sing for Open March 18th. It's Meek DC three May 6th. It's like. Some shit niggas ain't ready for, I swear to God. I swear to God, niggas ain't ready for. Niggas are like, it's some shit, nigga. Like, you know what I'm saying? All right, now see, go get that. March 30th, how this shit drop from the leader. Let's snoop, whoa! This beat wild as shit. This shit came out so thorough, see. Look, I'm just a nigga from the ghetto, but now I'm in the game and I'm ballin' like a mellow. Switch. I'm just a nigga from the ghetto, but now I'm in the game and I'm ballin' like a mellow.